Hi everyone, uh, this is Stephen Pu, co-founder of the Traxor project. And uh, we're creating this video tutorial today to show you how, uh, as a staker, you can delegate to uh, a mainnet candidate node, okay? Okay, so let's get started. So first of all, why would you want to delegate, right? So um, being a DPoS consensus network, uh, like the one that Terasa has, Delegation of staked tokens is the primary way that the network prevents civil attacks. Um, so it makes attacks more expensive by making sure that those nodes that can participate in consensus um, actually have assets tied to them. So you can't launch an attack for free, right? So delegation of staked tokens is a critical part uh, and a very necessary part of the consensus mechanism. So on the mainnet candidate, one of the core goals of the mainnet candidate uh, uh, is to acclimate the community to all the economic mechanisms uh, of the eventual um, network after our native token conversion. All right. So this is a very critical step that we hope everyone who has staked will participate in. Okay, so a note here also is that we are going to enforce a cutoff on January 24th of 2022. So if you have stake tokens in Terraxa, but you have not delegated those tokens after January 24th, that means you will stop earning yields. Okay, I just wanna be very clear so that everyone understands this really, really well. If you have staked Terraxa tokens, but have not delegated those tokens to a node on the mainnet candidate network, you will stop earning staking yields. Okay, so it's very important that everyone who has staked delegate their stake uh, to a node on the mainnet candidate network. Okay, so let's get started. Um, uh, the first thing I think I would advise everyone to go through uh, is our step-by-step -step Medium article. So if you actually go to uh, Teraxa's blog site, so you can reach this website by simply typing teraxa.io slash blog. And it'll just take you to the site. And the very first article is how to participate in Teraxa's mainnet uh, candidate, a step-by-step -step guide. So click on that. Um, for those who are staking, um, you should scroll down, right? So the first section is for node operators. For those who are staking, uh, you should uh, scroll down for the staking guide. Uh, the first part is how to stake, which hasn't really changed on the mainnet candidate. You're still staking via the community site into an Ethereum contract, okay? Now, the new part of it is to delegate your stake via the community site, okay? So if we click on this, um, all right, we get to the delegation site that we were just looking at, okay? So make sure that when you're delegating, um, you are logged in, okay? You're logged in. Uh, so right now I am logging to a test account and that your wallet is connected, right? So this is very important, your wallet is connected. So right now my wallet is connected. There's a green dot here that shows my wallet address. Just to double check, I will click on the staking section and it says I have staked, you know, 1.234 Teraxa coins, right, into the staking contract. Now, of course, because it's a test wallet, the amount of uh, stake is very low. So right now I know that I am connected to the right wallet because I can see my stake Terra right here, okay? So once I confirm that I've logged in and that I am connected to the right wallet, I go to the delegation section here on the left side, navigation, I go to the delegation section. And here are all the nodes that are on the mainnet, net, uh, the mainnet candidate network that I can delegate into, okay? So so here's here's the big question, how do I pick a node to delegate to, okay? So um, one thing that I do want to mention is that as the development team, we're always going to strive to make sure that 
the stakers as well as the node operators have access to the best tools to uh, to really um, make the ecosystem work well. So we're still in that process. Uh, so not everything is going to be perfect. Um, let me just go ahead and explain what all of these um, fields mean. Okay. So status. Status basically means whether or not the node has produced a block in the past 24 hours. Okay. So um, those that are green means that they are active and they're producing blocks. Those that are gray means that they're not producing blocks. Now, there are several reasons why um, a node is not producing blocks. For example, if you have a node that simply, if we scroll down, let's say they have no delegation at all, right? So their delegation is zero. Well, then they're not really eligible to produce blocks, right? So that's why they might be grayed out, okay? Um, but for those that have delegation and are grayed out, um, it might be that their node has malfunctioned or is, has gone down, um, or maybe the network has some issues, okay? So this is what the status means. The next one is just the name, right? This is the name that the node operator has given to their node, right? Um, and it's also an indication of, you know, perhaps who the node operator is. Now, we do have a profile section for the node operators to actually tell the stakers a little bit about themselves. Um, that is going to uh, come very, very soon. We, we've implemented that feature. It's just that we haven't linked it up uh, to the nodes uh, uh, on this table yet. So that's going to come really soon. So that will also tell you a little bit about the node operator, uh, who they are, whether or not it's, you know, for example, maybe it's a person or a team. Maybe they have a website. Maybe they have a social account. So you can learn a little bit about the people that are behind these nodes. Okay. The third field here is yield. So the actual yield here um, at, for the, uh, in the very, very short term, everyone is going to get a 20% yield. Okay. Everyone's going to get a 20% yield because um, we want to make absolutely sure that the uh, mechanism, the economic mechanisms for block rewards and fees on the network is completely working before we actually start to peg the yield to the actual node's performance. So for now, the yield is just, just everyone's 20%, okay? Um, but that will soon change once um, our testing has completed and we'll definitely inform the community um, of that. But one thing I really want everyone to look at is that we've added this uh, green cup, right? This green champion cup icon here next to a select number of nodes, right? And what does that mean? Well, we have, we've been running a test network for a very, very long time, okay? So I think uh, this is probably um, the ninth week that, that of the test network. So what we've done is that we've taken a look at the top block producers on the test network in the past, and we've identified a small subsection, a small portion of those node operators who have consistently won over and over and over again, uh, week after week after week um, in the top block producer competition on the test network. So because right now the main network yield is not fully pegged to the node's performance, what we're doing here is that we're saying we're, we're going to use the, te uh, the test network as an indicator, right? The main, the main network also doesn't have a lot of history, right? Because it was just activated at the end of 2021. So going forward, we're going to use the test network, maybe also a combination of test network as well as the main network to really give uh, you, the stakers, an indication of, you know, who are the really reliable nodes that have really outperformed, right, compared to the rest of the, um, the node operators, okay? So uh, I would really, really uh, advise everyone to you know, check out the ones with the green cups next to them because uh, these are the ones that have demonstrated that, you know, they're very technically competent and are pretty committed to the ecosystem, okay? And going forward, um, we're definitely going to also do some targeted marketing by uh, to, uh, to make sure that the repeat node operators, uh, the repeat winners in the node operators are aware of the fact that, you know, they could start operating a node on the mainnet candidate as well. Okay, 
So the next one is called commission. So what does a commission mean? Well, commission just means that the node operator or this specific node is going to earn a part of your staking yield. Okay. So for example, uh, let's just say, you know, let's say that, you know, their commission is 5%. What does 5% mean? Well, 5% is 5% of the total yield that you're earning, right? So quick example, let's say you staked 100 coins uh, into uh, Terasa and you delegated 100 coins um, into a node, right? And um, there's a 20% annualized yield. So each year you're going to earn 20 coins or that node is actually going to earn 20 coins off the delegation. Okay. And, um, and then the node operator will get 5% of that. Right. So, so they will get one coin. Okay. And you as the staker who delegated to that node will get 19 coins. Okay. So that's, that's what that commission means. So commission also really plays a role here, which is that obviously as uh, someone who's staking, you would like to have a low commission, but um, you will need to balance out how reliable the node is with the commission. Because later on, uh, as, we, um, as, as the mechanism of the yield becomes increasingly uh, tied to the actual performance um, and uptime of the node, um, you know, this, 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 this becomes very, very, very important. So if a node who has very high performance, they might decide to charge a higher commission, but it might be worth it, right? So uh, do your own math right now. But in the short term, like I said, everyone's yield is the same. Um, uh, so you look at the green cup and you look at the commission. I think that would be sort of the, the two things I would really take a close look at. Um, uh, one represents the node operator's confidence and the node's overall quality, and the other one represents how much they're charging for their services running a node. This uh, column here is called delegation. Okay, so delegation means how many coins have already been delegated to the specific node. So in order for a node to join consensus, it needs a minimum of 1 million tokens delegated to it. Okay, and the next one is called available for delegation. That just means, you know, how much more room, uh, how much more coins can be delegated to this specific node. So each node has a maximum delegation of 10 million tokens. Uh, we wanted to make sure that uh, there is a maximum per node because we want to, you know, we want to avoid the situation of, you know, maybe everyone delegating to the same node, right? So then that would create a not very decentralized network with a single point of failure. So, um, so if you see a node that you would like to delegate to, make sure that it still has some delegation available left, right? So let's say that I go down and I say, well, I'm gonna, um, you know, look at this node. Hey, you know, it has a green cup, commission's pretty low. Uh, maybe I'll scroll down and look at some other ones, you know, also green cup, all well, commissions a little high, um, you know, hey, there's a green cup here with zero commission, right? He hasn't received any delegation yet. Maybe I'll try them out. So you can just click on the delegate button right next to the node that you select, right? And here it will say, okay, you're delegating to this, this node, right? With this address, this is how many Terra that's available to delegate. So this is your stake Terra. Remember, uh, we looked at before that our account had a total stake Terra of 1.234, right? So this is a test account, very little staking. So, um, so here I would just say, I'm going to stake to this node. This is how much that's available for staking, right? One Terra pretty much. Um, this is how much it can, uh, it can receive, right, 10 million maximum because no one has delegated to it yet. And then you just click on the delegate button, okay? So once you click on the delegate button, well, because this is a test account, the minimum delegation is 1,000 tokens. So uh, I can't really move forward, but, the, um, but once you actually click on this button and you have more than 1,000, um, a, uh, a pop-up will come out out of MetaMask that asks you to actually sign this transaction. Okay, so once you sign it, there's, there are no fees here, right? So the signature is really just there to prove that you're the owner of this wallet, okay? So delegation is free, 
once you click on delegate, and if you have more than a thousand tokens um, uh, actually staked, then uh, you will be asked to uh, to sign uh, to do a signature, uh, and then you're done. Okay, and that's that's really all there is to it. So um, I would really encourage everyone to uh, before January 24th, if you have staked, come to the community site, right? come to the delegation section and delegate your stake so that you can keep earning yields and keep helping uh, to grow uh, and, uh, and our, our ecosystem. So um, another, um, there are a few more things I really want to point out is that uh, as the development team, we're going to try very hard to help everyone to find each other, right? Help node operators find stakers and help stakers find node operators. So there are uh, several channels that we're setting up right now uh, to, uh, to facilitate that matchmaking process. So the first thing that we're doing is that, you know, we have our Twitter account, right? We have our official Twitter account. And what we've done is that um, we have, uh, we're encouraging node operators to actually start advertising themselves using the hashtag Teraxa node. So this is the first day we started doing this. Uh, I don't think too many people have caught on. So what one thing you can do is that you can actually just search for this hashtag, right? Click on this hashtag. Well, no one has been advertising themselves yet uh, because we just started doing this, but you can come back later, right? Uh, look at the Terrasa node hashtag and uh, perhaps there'll be other node operators advertising their services. Um, another channel that we're encouraging everyone to look at is of course our Discord server, okay? so. Uh, you can access the Discord server by going to terasa.io slash Discord. All right, so if you open up a, a new web browser, uh, browser just go to terasa.io slash Discord. And you can join our Discord server, okay? Okay, so once you're in the Discord server, I would encourage everyone to check out the Terasa staking channel. Um, as well as perhaps the, the mainnet candidate channel. Okay, so these are the channels that you know we're encouraging everyone to really tell uh, stakers, right, the node operators about their nodes. Um, the node operators typically uh, hang out in the mainnet candidate channel or or even the testnet channel. So if you actually um, want to learn more about node operations or who are the uh, the uh, node operators, uh, you can actually come in and actually talk to them as well, right? Um, so, um, so these are the channels that you can look at: um, Twitter, um, the uh, and uh, the Discord channel uh, to actually engage with the actual node operators to learn a bit more about uh, who they are and uh, how they operate. Okay. So thank you very much, uh, first of all, for supporting the Terraxa ecosystem by staking your tokens. We really appreciate it. And uh, we're asking you to uh, help the ecosystem move to the next step by delegating your stake into a node on the mainnet candidate network. So thank you very much.